know very matter of factly, nope. I was doing my job and then growing up in Puerto Rico, I saw men get killed in front of me all the time. He knows how to break a guy down by just working his hands, keeping his hands at home when he needs to, and just continue to stay at that that, that pace. When uh, Matthias landed the last shot that sent the Dashev reeling at the end of the 11th, I thought, uh-oh, I don't like the way the Dashev stepped, he, like he didn't know where the canvas was. There's a certain way that fighters react when you think something bad may happen late in a grueling fight. Yeah, I've been thought Matthias was a, a, a different type of problem for, for a lot of one employees, you know, there's a guy that's always in shape, there's a guy that um, always in shape, and there's a guy that's willing to take whatever to get to. Matias mindset kind of gets him, gets him, gets him. Like he's he, he's all he know he's he's gonna he's he's, he's he relies on a, on a grueling pace. And and a fighter like that, it's really yeah, the the main game plan. You gotta know how to you gotta know how to box. Perfect. You gotta know how, you gotta know how to box. That's a big left hook and puts him down. Matias finally gets the knockdown. Blows from Subriel Matias sends Chukambayev down for the fifth time in his career. Russian boxer Maxim Dadashev died after suffering a brain injury during a fight in Maryland. The Russian Boxing Federation says the 28-year-old died as a result of injuries he sustained in Friday's light welterweight fight. A preacher went out a hunting, was on one Sunday morn. Our person was against his religion, but he took his gun along. He shot himself some very fine quail and one big measly hare. And on his way returning home, he met a great big grizzly bear.